and welcome to our coverage of the Sand Dune Classic. My name is Luke Elby and with me is John McCarthy. Hi Luke, great to be here. Certainly looking forward to getting into the action today. Let's hope there's some spectacular golf out on the course. Thanks Luke, we'll uh, talk to you later on. And there you have it, folks. First drive of the event. And I think he will be happy with that. And about 150 yards to the pin. And here's an eight iron. And this one's heading towards the green. And this putt is for birdie. Oh, that was, that was very close. And this for the par. And starting the round off with a par. And now let's see what the second hole has in store. This is looking fairway bound. From here, it's about 100 yards to the pin. And this could be long. And that one is on the green with quite a bit of real estate to make up on that next putt. And that one will go for birdie. And he is moving up on the leaderboard after that hole. Setting up on the par three. I think this might be a bit long. Well, I thought that was going to go long, but uh, look where that ended up. And that putt will drop for birdie. And two under for the day after that one. All right, here's the fourth hole. And I think he will like that. And about 245 yards to the pin.
And that's a pretty inspiring shot just there, hitting this par 5 green in two definite eagle possibilities. This one's about a seven footer. For the birdie. And after that one, he's still managing to hold on to first place. And next up is a par four, folks. And a promising looking shot here. Yeah, about 110 yards to the pin from here. Heading for the green. And this one's for birdie. Yeah, that one's uh, right in the cup. And no change uh, ranking wise after that hole. And now setting up for the next par four hole. And he'll be happy with that. And about a buck twenty-five away. And this one's looking pretty good. And about 17 feet to the cup. And this shot is looking scary good right now. And that one goes in for the bird. And after that hole, he will stay right where he is on the leaderboard. Okay, and let's see what the seventh has in store. Okay, this one's looking pretty good. And this next shot, setting up below the hole.
that's the hybrid. And I don't think he really had a clean swing on that one. And I don't think that was the intended result for that approach shot. And that's not been the trend today. He has been pretty good in uh, the area of greens and regulation today. this to save oh my lands that was uh that was very close and this one's for the bogey ooh, 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 ooh. that was uh that was very close and this for the double bogey And after that one, three under for the day. And next up is the par five. Appears to be heading for the fairway here. And I think he's going to like that. Going with the eight iron here. Looking good. Uh, missing the approach on that one. Too much club, I think. This one's right around eight feet. that was going to go and about 16 feet left to go this shot might be a perfect shot folks and this putt is for the double bogey and we will fall out of first place after that to the ninth hole. Might be a bit too much club on this one. And that approach is on the green. And a lengthy putt in the near future. And just missing. And this putt's about a two-footer here. And 
that one drops for par. And as he finishes up here on the front nine, Luke, he's found himself in a pretty favorable spot. Tied for the lead is a great position heading into the final nine holes, but this is when the tournament really heats up. A lot of golf left to play. Thanks, Luke. Now back to the action. And let's see what the 10th has in store. Well, so far so good for this one. And about 215 yards out from here. Wood here. And yeah, nothing to write home about on that approach shot. Not enough club on that one, unfortunately. And this putt to save par. And currently sitting at one under for the day. Okay, now moving on to the 11th. Well, I think this one's going to find the short grass. Setting up this next shot from uh, above the hole. That looks like the hybrid. This one's looking a bit long, folks. And that is not bound for the dance floor. Too much club on that, I think. And this one's about three feet from the cup. And that one will drop for par. And still tied for first place after that. And now we find ourselves on the 12th. Well, that, that approach shot's not going to be on anyone's highlight reel, I don't think. Just not enough club on that one. And that putt drops on in for par. And uh, no change in his leaderboard status after that hole. All right, let's see what uh, happens on the 13th hole here. And uh, nicely done, looking like we'll have some fairway here.
And about 2.25 to go. Here's the three wood. All right, he's on the green now. And this putt is for Eagle. Oh my gracious, that was close. That's about a few feet from the cup. And that one goes for birdie. And sitting at two under four of the day. And that means he's first overall on the leaderboard. And now setting up for the par four tee off. This one's looking pretty good so far. Okay, and about 205 yards to the pin. Going with the five wood. Well, I think this is heading to the rough. Yeah, that's not very good as far as approach shots go. And here's the five wood. And uh, some unfortunate uh, luck there on that approach shot and about 205 yards to go. And uh, not the greatest of swings on that approach shot. Just too much club. Seven feet to the cup. This shot is looking too good. And oh my, what a putt that was. Very long putt right into the cup. And after that, he will fall out of first place. And moving on to the 15th here. Pretty sure this is going to land in the fairway here. And this next shot setting up significantly below the hole. the approach on that one and just not enough club on that one about five feet from the cup. And 
that one drops for the bogey. And as we look at the leaderboard, uh, current leader sits at one under and setting up for the par three hole. And looks like a six iron. And the six iron is proving to be a bit long here. Well, that was an unfortunate approach. Too much club. This one's about two feet from the cup. That hole is going to allow him to move up in the standings. And let's see what the 17th has in store. I don't think we'll find some fairway here. about 135 yards out. Going with a pitching wedge here. This one's looking good. And this for the birdie. This putt is for the bogey. Ooh, that, that would have been good. And this one for the double. And that performance has led him to go down in the standings. And ladies and gentlemen, he's finally here. The final hole. And he's six strokes off the lead. Let's see what happens. He's got to be pleased with that. And from here, about 215 yards out. Very well played, and hitting this par five and two is going to set up some nice eagle opportunities here. And the putt drops for eagle. Luke, this one is over for our player here today, and uh, they did pretty good. I, I was uh, a little worried at times, but uh, I think they, they got a favorable result nonetheless. Well, we know that was far below their best, John, but there are a few bright spots in that performance that I know that they'll take to the next tournament. <laughs> Well, that's going to do it from here. I'm Luke Elvey, and from John McCarthy, see you next time.